referee, Toby Gibson. Okay, gentlemen, prior to this fight, I've given you your instructions in your respective dressing room. Obey my commands at all times. Mr. Ward's trunk's a little high. I'm letting both camps know I'm considering this a legal blow. Good luck to both of you. Very good crowd on hand here for the debut of boxing at the MGM Grand Garden Arena. 35-year-old Tommy Hearns proving the skeptics wrong. He told us yesterday okay. he's looking to stay busy four or five fights this year. And there's his opponent tonight, uh, Dan Ward, for the NABF Cruiserweight Championship. And we're underway. This is round one. The difference in size immediately apparent. Ward, very small, and then this magnificent structure, Hearns, who, who looks like, if you dreamt what a fighter would look like, it would look like Tommy Hearns, face and body. Tommy's got the height, he's got the reach, he's got a terrific body, especially one that shifts weight, uses leverage with all the fights he has, especially when he has a height on someone. And I don't suspect that this fight is going to go too long before Ward gets his chin tested. Tommy Hearns back wearing the crunk colors. Watch Funny now, story. Watch that head, Ward. Watch that head. At the press conference, Dan Ward got up and said, I want to thank Don King, but I'm upset about one thing. Tommy Hearns talks about the fight, but never mentions my name. Tommy barked out, head, what Ward. is your name? He honestly did not know Ward's name. Well, after that, but he fights, it's understandable. Here's Dan Ward opening up a little bit. Well, Ward's trying to get his attention, so he may not forget his name, but we'll see. Tommy's a ring-wise experienced guy. And he, you know, he's going to brush, brush those punches off. He's going to wait, but he's going to attack. And when he gets offense under his, in his mind, you watch out. Hearns has won so many titles. I asked him, you ever lose track of the titles you've won? He said, not really, but I lose track of the fighters I've fought. Since 1977, when a tall, skinny kid first turned pro, Tommy Hearns. Now, let me tell you, before that, he was an amateur. He was considered a magnificent boxer, not a puncher particularly. And that's what he brought to the pros, magnificent boxing and added punching. Look at that punching to the body. Ward's in a little bit of trouble now, too. He got hurt. He got rocked by an inside oh, shot. There's that right hand. Thunderous right hand by Tommy Hearns, looking to air it out and end this thing early. Tommy taking his time like the true pro he is. Castigating the body, just waiting for that headshot to be open. There it is. And down goes Ward. Uh, he has no idea where he is. His legs wobbly, rubbery. It's all over. And poor Dan Ward, who came in here with his trucks written A-R-W, welding supply, didn't get